Hey, one of my uh, YouTube subscribers had asked me to talk a little bit about um, actually sweep generators and using them to tune like uh, the IF or do an alignment on a receiver for example. So uh, that's what we're going to talk about here and uh, just uh, show one example. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about you know kind of how to tune you know a typical IF transformer which is you'll typically find in a receiver chain uh, and basically it's just a little bit of a resonant circuit that basically rejects signals that are above or below the frequency that it's tuned to and that's typically how you get selectivity in a receiver, at least part of it anyway. And uh, here's a typical example, here's a uh, shortwave receiver schematic and we can kind of see here I've got a, a signal coming out here uh, actually out of a mixer uh, getting amplified going in through a bandpass filter then an IF amplifier, here's one of the uh, uh, tuned IF transformers, another IF amplifier, another tuned transformer. And part of the alignment process for this receiver is to tune these various, the resonant frequencies of these transformers to kind of peak the response. Okay, so uh, that's kind of what we would have here. And uh, sometimes you, you, know, you can certainly do it with just a, an RF signal generator, you know, inject a signal in, you know, into the right point, and then just kind of monitor the response as you tune the various cans. Um, we'll call them cans because they kind of look like little uh, cans. You kind of see the one there in my vise we're going to go look at. Okay, uh, But sometimes you want to take a look and see what the shape is and that's not so easy to do uh, just by tuning it. I mean you can kind of get a feel for it but uh, let me kind of show you what I mean. So I'm using this, uh, my, this leader uh, function generator here as my signal source. Okay, And that's being coupled down into uh, this little IF can that I've got clamped in here. And I've got the probes on here going up to the scope. Okay, So I've got the scope kind of dialed in at a fairly low sweep speed, about a millisecond or so. So we're just looking at the RF envelope. Okay, In fact, if I kind of change my triggering and zoom way out here, you can kind of see it's just an, a, a sinusoid. Okay, That's a 50 nanoseconds of division, so it's, it's about a 3 megahertz signal. So let's go back down to about a millisecond where I was. Okay. And um, I've also got an output from that signal generator um, on the back. It gives me a sync output, so I've got that going into a frequency counter, so I can actually see I'm running at about 3.15 megahertz here. Okay. So what we can do is I can tune, you know, the uh, the frequency here, and watch the response of the uh, the IF can, and watch its frequency, and, and then kind of see its response here. So if I kind of do this, let me reach over here and uh, see if I get both the frequency counter and the scope and the shot. Now if I move the frequency down, or actually that's up, see I know it's at 3.3 megahertz, so I can see my response went down, okay. If I move the frequency down, okay, so now I'm at 3 megahertz and I can see the frequency is down. If I keep going lower, let me kind of pull this out so we can see both. If I keep going lower in frequency, you can see the response goes way down. And if I come back up, as I slowly bring the frequency up, I can see it peaks. If I keep going, then it goes back down again. So you can kind of see that response. You can almost picture it. I'm just wiggling back and forth now between, you know, through its resonant frequency. Okay. And then the, the idea is on the can, there's a uh, a little core that you can adjust with a, a little screwdriver type uh, uh, device to change essentially the resonant frequency to kind of move that resonant frequency back and forth. Okay, and that's the process of doing the alignment. Now, of course, you know, I could just set the signal generator up to the desired IF frequency, okay, and then just peak all the responses and everything will look fine. But, but sometimes it's fun to look at things to see what that shape is. Uh, as I was moving this, the frequency back and forth here, you can kind of see that, you know, the signal is kind of going, or the, the signal is going up and down, but I can't get an idea of, you know, how, how steep is that skirt on that filter, right? How, how, how steep is uh, kind of the skirt of this here? And that's part of what the sweeping, uh, using a sweep oscillator will help you do. So what is it? So a sweep generator is basically a generator that basic, over time starts off at one frequency, slowly and line, you know, linearly or logarithmically sweeps all the way up to a higher frequency, and then goes back and repeats itself again. So I kind of, just over time, it would just kind of start slow and then go fast again. All right. So we can set up the sweep oscillator to, or sweep generator to sweep over a given frequency range. And ideally you'd set up the low frequency side and the high frequency side to be, you know, below the resonant frequency of the, of the can or the IF, and then the other end to be above the, the IF frequency. 
so they will sweep through the peak. All right. So looking at it, say, in frequency versus time, we basically would get this ideally you know, kind of either a linear or logarithmic. We're going to use a linear you know, kind of rate change from low frequency to high frequency. Okay. So we'll set up the generator to do that. Now, a lot of the sweep generators will also have some, some other signals okay, that may be helpful okay, in, t in terms of uh, you know, being able to look at these signals on a scope. They may have a trigger or a sync, sync output that will give you a pulse each time the sweep starts. And that's a really handy one to have. Um, it might also give you a gate which goes high, say, during the sweep, goes low when it returns back to the fr original frequency, then goes high again. Or they might even give you a ramp voltage that kind of ramps along with the frequency. Okay, So depending on which generator you have, uh, which sweep oscillator you have, you might have one or more of these signals available, and they'll be kind of handy. Okay, so we take a look at what they look like on this one. Okay, so I'm going to turn off channel two and turn off channel, turn on, turn on channel one and three. So here I can actually see I've got those two. I've got my ramp signal. I slow this down. You can kind of see there's my the ramp signal, and I also have a gate. So the gate goes high during the sweep, goes low during the when we go down to low frequency. So this this voltage here is kind of representing what the frequency is doing, going from low to high, and then going down real quick, low to high. Okay. I speed it up. Now you can see I just barely have you know one full sweep in the screen. All right. So what we'll do is we'll allow that to kind of set up what the frequency is uh, going to do, and we'll sweep through this filter. Okay. And watch its response. So we just need to set up the start and stop frequency. So on this guy here, if we go into CW mode, okay, on this guy that also sets the stop frequency. If that thing will kind of yes, yeah, so you can see CW kind of also sets the stop. So I'll just adjust this and get the frequency I want. Let's set it to something that's kind of easy to see. Let's set it to, uh, say, 2 megahertz, or close to it. So if I kind of bring this down to, oh, we'll get it close to 2 megahertz. That's pretty close to 2 megahertz. And then I'm going to tell that I want to set up the stop frequency. So I go into sweep mode and push this button here. And now I can set the stop frequency with this knob here. Okay. And, excuse me, that was the stop frequency. So I'm going to go back and do this again. Okay, so let's We'll set the stop frequency to 4 megahertz. All right. And we're just about there. There's about 4 megahertz, right about there. That's close enough. Now I'll go over and do what I was going to do. Set the start frequency. Start frequency at about 2 megahertz. So now we're going to kind of go through this frequency ramp from 2 megahertz to 4 megahertz. And that's kind of handy because you know, it's, it's, so we know it's a 2 megahertz total sweep. I know on the scope I've got 10 divisions, okay? So I know that each division is 200 kilohertz. So it's, it kind of gives me a way of kind of getting an idea of where the frequency is, okay? So once I've got that done, I just go back, I go into my sweep mode here, okay? So now I see my sweeping signals. If I put uh, the output from my filter back on here, okay? Now I can actually see that response. There's the, there's the, that's sweeping right through the resonant frequency here. Now you see this little blip right here, because what's happening is after we finish the sweep, it very quickly returns through that sweep backwards, so we get that little blip again. Now a good handy way to do this is, uh, what I do is I'll speed this, this the scope up, because I really want to just get one, one complete sweep across the 10 divisions. So I'm going to speed the scope up to kind of expand it, so now it's kind of beyond that. And then I'll go to my variable control, and I'll just vary the time delay back down again. And I'm just varying, varying my, you know, the uh, horizontal time base in a, you know, kind of this uncalibrated mode until I get just barely one sweep. So you can see right there, the sweep is just ending, okay, right at the 10th division and returning. And you can see the gate is stopping there. So now, I've, across the 10 divisions, I'm sweeping from 2 megahertz to 4 megahertz. So I kind of see where I am. So now, if I take my little uh, tool here to tweak the, uh, the IF can, all right, I'll stick that in here. I'm going to rotate this back and forth, okay, kind of like this. And as I do that, if we look back up on the scope now, okay, I can actually see that I'm actually changing the resonant frequency of that IF can, okay. So you might say, well, I want this thing to be tuned right at 3 megahertz. I can kind of dial that so it's right in the center, just like that. Because I know I started over here, you know, at two megahertz, and I end at four, so I'm going to be at three megahertz right in the middle. So now I know I've got the this can tuned to be resonant right at three megahertz. 
Now why this is handy is if in a receiver you, know, you might have multiple IFs, okay? One might be tuned one way, one might be tuned another, and if say you were looking at the output, okay, um, you might tune one, you, know, you might go look at this and look at this response at the output and you might see I've got a little bit of a peak here and then another peak over here, or maybe another one over here. It might show you that some of the cans are really way off and that as you adjust each IF you can kind of bring them all, or each can, you can adjust them all so they all line up right up in the middle and, uh, and peak your whole response. It also allows you to see, for example, if the filter, maybe uh, the bandpass filter here has got kind of an unusual shape to it you'd be able to see essentially the shape of that IF, its response versus frequency. So, so that's a pretty simple way of using a sweep generator, sweep oscillator, to sweep a tuned circuit like an IF or you know, like an IF can and look at its frequency response and see how it varies uh, as we tune it back and forth and see its shape. In fact, on this one you can actually see as I go higher in frequency, its response actually goes down, it attenuates a little more I go down lower in frequency, I've got a little more response at the low frequency here. Okay, but just you know, again, just interesting things that you wouldn't necessarily see just by manually tuning the oscillator and manually tuning uh, the can. It would take a lot of uh, back and forth to kind of see what's going on. So anyway, I hope that was helpful and uh, just more fun uh, with scopes and signal generators and parts and all the kind of stuff you can do with them. Comments are welcome. Uh, any videos you'd like to see, please let me know. Thank you.